Yo, what up? Here I am, Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon and The Blackest Heart and The Lonesome Crown, all published by Simon & Schuster Saga Press. Today I'm going to be reviewing The Iron Marshal by Louis L'Amour, published in 1979. We always, we always review the covers. You know, here I am in front of my Louis L'Amour, most of my Louis L'Amour collections back here. You can see it. So, what about the cover? You know, I always review the covers. I love Louis L'Amour covers. I love illustration. I love graphic, graphic design. This cover here, I think, is great. Sets the tone for the book. I searched all over the internet. I could not find the name of the illustrator that did this painting, but it's a great painting. Portrays our main man, Tom Shanahi. Tom Shanahi from the mean streets of New York. You know, he's a gangster. He, 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 was, he was from the mean streets of New York City. Uh, he was in a street gang. Uh, Got a lot of trouble in the street game. He's always in fist fights, always getting in trouble with the with the with the uh, with the mobster bosses and this, that, and the other. Decides ah, the hell with this. There's a whole American Western frontier out there. It's not really what he was thinking. He's just like he was in trouble, and and there was a train rolling through town, and he's just like he was running from trouble, and he just jumped up on a train cart, and fell asleep. And the next thing he knew, he woke up in. Kansas. Tom Shanahi woke up. He just like went from the street gang to Kansas. He woke up. He wakes up. He piles off the train. He falls off the train in Kansas. He's like, "Yo, what up? Where am I?" And they're like, "Man," and they're like, "Son, you in Kansas?" He's like, "Whoa." Well, at least all the street gang stuff is behind me, or so he thought. So he thought. So what happens to um our guy? Tom Shanahi, well, he loves horses. He loves race horses. He he decides, man, Kansas is the place for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. He does a few things. He's, a, you know, he was a tough street guy. He was a street. He was a street fighter, kind of like that show, kind of like that Irish show with Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman, uh, Far and Away, where where you know people would want to fight him, and and he and Tom Cruise would be like, I do not wish to hurt you. And then he'd commence to beating the crap out of him. That's kind of like Tom Shanahi. He'd come across people in New York City and in Kansas. And they'd be like bullying everybody. And, and he'd be like, I do not wish to hurt you. So he's a tough dude. Like he's an Irish tough guy boxer. And we know if we know. And I've read the Louis L'Amour biography and Louis L'Amour himself was a boxer he spent time as a professional boxer so he knows about boxing and you'll know there's a lot of fist fights in a lot of Louis L'Amour books along with a lot of gunplay and gunfights and pistols and rifles and all that stuff and we get into all that with the Iron Marshal because this kid Tom Shanahi he, he proves that he's a tough guy to sort of the uh leaders of the town and they're like man we need we need a dude like you as the marshal because there's these bad guys. One of the bad guys, by the way, is named Draco. Where have we heard that before? There's another massive, really huge best-selling writer somewhere out there in the world. Her, her, one of her bad guys is named Draco. Well, Draco is the bad guy that uh, Tom Shanahi has to be the Iron Marshal. So he, Tom Shanahi is now protecting this Kansas town against Draco, the bad guy, and all of Draco's henchmen and a few other people. And then Tom Shaughnessy, of course, falls in love with the daughter of one of the bad guys. I There was there was a one scene I wanted to read. It's not a scene. It's just a uh, short little paragraph about law enforcement and about being a tough guy. Because, as you know, I work at the Utah State Prison. I've had to deal with situations where you've had to stand up for yourself. Whether it's either fight or talk your way out of the fight. And I thought that, and I thought that uh, Louis L'Amour does a great job of describing that here in the um, book here. And this, this passage particularly 
stuck out to me. So I will wear, I will, I will read it. And this is when they're kind of talking Tom Shanahi into becoming the marshal. Where, like, you know, you can't just beat the crap out of everybody, right? Take my word for it, son. A marshal must be judged not by the number of men he has killed in the line of duty, but by, but by the tough men he has handled without using a gun, even without violence. Important. You know, you ever watch the Andy Griffith show? Old man sheriff, our old sheriff Andy Griffith in Mayberry, he never, he never used a gun. He didn't even carry a gun. He would always talk the bad guy. And so that is the journey that our main man, Tom Shanahi, has to face in this book is, do I continue to just beat the out of everybody to get my way and to make things right? Or is there a more diplomatic way where I can talk about it so I don't have to, I don't wish to fight ya. I don't wish to fight ya. Or, I don't wish to fight ya. Let's have a cup of tea and talk it over. So, yeah, that's where we are with the uh, Iron Marshal. I thought it was a good, fun book. And, um, yeah, you know, maybe not one of my favorite Louis L'Amours, but still great, great fun for a Louis L'Amour novel. And, you know, man, I love Louis L'Amour. I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. thought it was pretty solid, pretty entertaining. A lot of good stuff, a lot of good dialogue. Great villains, Draco. Draco. 8 out of 10 for the Iron Marshal.